you jump start a car you don't want to have the donor car with a good battery running i've been tagged in this video dozens of times it's silly it doesn't make sense i've done it that way all the time and i've never had a problem maybe this applies to old school generators and not modern day alternators I have an answer for you. Okay, so Scotty Kilmer is wrong, but he's also right, but only by accident. It has nothing to do with the alternators fighting against each other. That's complete and utter hogwash. It has to do with the fact that if the donor car's alternator is overcharging the battery, it can very quickly produce dangerous amounts of hydrogen gas, which could cause an explosion. So by shutting the car off first, by the time you've opened the hood, hydrogen is a very light gas. It'll dissipate very quickly. You hook the leads up. That's why you also start with the leads at the good battery first, and you connect the dead battery second, because there's not going to be a spark on those leads until you have a load on them, and the load is the dead battery. So you want the spark to happen near the dead battery because a dead battery doesn't produce hydrogen gas. A fully charged battery that's being overcharged produce hydrogen gas. So by connecting the dead battery second and by making sure the engine of the good car is off, you're reducing any chance of hydrogen gas. And then that's when you go and start the good battery and then start the car with the dead battery. And then that's again why you disconnect the, the boosted car first when you're undoing it and then your donor car second because again, you're trying to minimize any chance of a spark occurring near a fully charged or an overcharging, potentially overcharging battery.